The following example asks us to establish that all three requirements of Rolle's theorem are satisfied for the function f of x equals x squared minus x minus 12 uh, within the closed interval between negative 3 and 4. And then we are to find the c values uh, predicted by this theorem. So one of the assertions of this theorem is that within this closed interval between negative 3 and 4, f of a and f of b are to equal 0. So what we're going to do is we're going to find f of negative 3 and we're going to show that it should equal 0. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's plug in negative 3 in for x. So negative 3 squared minus negative 3 minus 12. Well, using the order of operations here, we have negative 3 squared, which is 9. 9 minus a negative 3 is positive 12, and 12 minus 12 equals 0. So that condition's met. And then we're going to check, well, f of 4 here in this case, this should also equal 0. So let's go ahead and plug in 4, and we're going to square it and subtract 4 here, and subtract 12. Okay, well, 4 squared is 16, minus 4 is 12, and 12 minus 12 is, again, 0. So it meets those conditions there. Well, the next assertion is that uh, the function uh, should be continuous between that interval, and it should also be differentiable. Well, let's look at it. We're dealing with a polynomial here. So uh, a polynomials are everywhere continuous and they are also differentiable. We cannot forget that. That is so important. Okay, so that being said, well, there is at least one point C in the open interval such that F prime of C equals zero. So we're going to look for this value, the C value, where our derivative equals 0. So since it is differentiable, well, we'll take the derivative. And taking the derivative, x squared minus x minus 12, the derivative becomes 2x minus 1 equal to 0. So we're going to set this equal to 0. We have 2x equal to 1. And in this case, x equal to 1 half. So this right here, x equal to 1 half, is our value for c. Now, we might have had other values for c, but it's important to note that the value that we find, or the values that we will accept, must be within the closed interval between negative 3 and 4. And in this case, 1 half lies in between negative 3 and 4, so this is a value for c that we can accept. So we have established all three requirements of Rolle's theorem for the given example. Made with DoodleCast Pro.